Welcome to this tip presented by the Envision Group. In this tip, we're going to take a look at exporting an AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 file to a MicroStation V8 DGN file. And specifically, we're going to take a look at what happens to AC objects that are stored in the DWG file. What I'm opening here is a Civil 3D file that has some parcels stored in it. So I'm going to go to my Prospector tab. I'm going to take a look at the sites and the particular parcels that are stored. I'm going to identify lot 80 and zoom to it. So there's lot 80 that's stored in my DWG file. Now what I'm going to do is go to the file pull down. I'm going to export to a DGN file, V8 DGN file. Hit OK on my DGN settings. And now the file has been exported. So let's take a look at that file we just exported in MicroStation. We're going to open it in V8i MicroStation. As you can see right away, some of the data has been missing. The dating that's missing is the AC objects that are stored in the DWG file. So let's go back to the AutoCAD file. What I want to do here now on the command line is type in export to AutoCAD. What that's going to do for me is create an AutoCAD file with an ACAD prefix for me. And I'm going to click Save. And now that file has been exported to an AutoCAD file with no Civil 3D data stored in it. I'm going to go ahead and open that ACAD prefixed file and hit Open. And again, I'm going to take a look at my Prospector tab and the Sites. And you'll notice now that there are no sites. So now I can go to File Export DGN File. I'm going to export a V8 DGN file with an ACAD prefix this time and hit Save. OK on my DGN settings. And now I'm going into MicroStation to open up that DGN file with the ACAD prefix. And now that everything that was stored in the DWG file has been exported to the DGN file. That concludes our tip with working with uh, AC objects. Thanks for watching.